Hello, candle lovers. Thank you so much for joining me today. My name is Greg and this is All About Candles. Today I have a review for you from Bath & Body Works. This is Cafe Latte. Uh, this collection was a little bit odd. Not really my favorite design aesthetic. A little old timey for me, but it, it's nice enough. There's a white lid on there. Um, this collection also had Coastal Cottage in it which I wasn't a huge fan of, and Cafe Latte I was not a huge fan of either. Um, the scent notes on this candle are bold espresso beans, vanilla sweet cream, and caramel drizzle. Um, oh gosh, do you guys know the caramel drizzle candle? That is absolutely what you're getting in here, and maybe with a little bit vanilla added and a little tiny bit of coffee. To me, it is not espresso. So a cafe latte is supposed to be espresso and milk, a little bit of foam. Okay, espresso, milk, foam. That is just not the vibe that I get from this at all. This is a cold <laughs> caramel frappuccino that was made with like whipping cream, tons of sugar, and the sweetest caramel you could find. I mean, I would have loved it if this really was an espresso and like a frothy milk fragrance, which I was hoping it would be. It's called Cafe Latte, like a frothy lactonic scent note with a nice espresso would have been fabulous. But what this is, is a super, super creamy caramel candle with a touch of coffee in it. Oh, and just... <laughs> Something about it, something about it just really does kind of rub me the wrong way. Something about the lactonic note in this is almost sour and just so creamy and gooey and caramelly and sweet. Yeah, I really didn't care much for this fragrance, you guys. It wasn't terrible, but it wasn't great. Um, I, a lot of people were thinking it was probably a repackage of Caramel Frappuccino, and so I brought this out just for comparison's sake. This is rich cold brew coffee, frothy milk, sweet caramel syrup, blended with ice, and in my opinion, this is by far a superior candle. This has... This is more coffee forward. There is some caramel in there as well, but it's not as ooey gooey and saccharine. And you pick up on a milk in this, like a frothy milk, a touch of caramel, and a nice amount of coffee. Oh, yeah. And so instead of cafe latte being a cafe latte, it is a caramel frappuccino dialed up. Um, however, the candle did perform quite well. <laughs> Go figure, right? I'd say strength and throw on this was like a 7.5 for sure. It burned really quite cleanly all the way down to the bottom. I could see the wick nickels. I don't think I let it extinguish itself. It did start to get a little bit dark right at the very end there, but from top to bottom, it really actually burned quite nicely and well, and it was strong. So if you do like this fragrance, I would recommend it. It is not a repurchase for me, unfortunately. Yeah, no, just not for me on that one. <laughs> Anyways, thank you so much for joining me today, folks. I really appreciate it. Leave me a comment below. Let me know what you thought about this candle. If you could give me a thumbs up, that would mean the world. Subscribe to my channel, please. And until next time, my dear candle-loving friends, let's burn some candles and bitch about it. <laughs> Thanks, folks. Bye.